Good evening and welcome to One Nation, One BR in VR. I am Old Dead Man, your host. Today we're in War Thunder with, a, we're going to go with a 4-3 lineup. Uh, this is actually my Japan lineup here, but I'd like to start with the M24 because it's a lot of fun. And I've got the Chinu 2. It's been a while since I put on the old VR headset, uh, so bear with me. There is one advantage now. My Christmas gift came in, and I have got a HOTAS setup, which I think I'm holding up in front of the camera now. And so this is what I'll be using to fly the plane. So we'll see if that works or doesn't. I didn't take the time to test it, to be honest. I actually mapped the keys a couple of weeks ago. But uh, we'll see if I can remember what my setup is, and we'll go forward. All right, we're looking at Maginot Line, three caps. We're on the north side. I usually like to go over to the uh, A cap just to start with and have some fun. So we got our M24 going. Let's have some fun. Now, I hope all of you had a great Christmas this year. I had a, a good one. We had a, the whole family here, kept it nice and quiet. We actually had it Christmas Eve so that my wife could, uh, could work on Christmas Day if she needed to. Turns out she didn't, so we were pretty delighted about that as well. Uh, it was uh, been, been pretty hopping lately. You might have noticed there's been a few less videos than normal. Well, I can state for the record that that involved things like the starter blowing out on my truck and uh, the, we had to replace some rotting floorboards in the kitchen. And uh, we've got uh, replacement kitchen cabinets that we're dealing with and getting those prepared. Uh, and pretty much just, it's been busy the last couple of weeks. And that's not to say we've got tons of cash, but we, uh, we had a windfall. And that's kind of what's helping us get some of our, some of the basic household stuff taken care of. It should be real, uh, Real nice when we get things done. Up, oh, there's already somebody on A, so we know we're going to be looking at something like maybe. Well, no, no, Italy's on our side, but something speedy over on A. France, maybe an AMX 13. What do I? There it is. All right, they've captured A. That probably means they've got. Okay, hold on. Let's go ahead and pop up on here. And listen. All right, so we just pop smoke. Okay, the pop smoke way back there, though. EBR, dag, damn it. Die, die. Gah! All right, come on, settle down before I get seasick. Allied forces have captured a zone. That's one of those frustrating things. I mean, EBRs really have no armor to speak of. And to have that shell actually do absolutely nothing. I didn't even see a mark on the tank where I hit him. Uh, so that was frustrating. I'll have to go watch the replay and see where, what actually, did I miss somehow? Did it just ricochet off the, uh, the angled armor? Uh, I, that doesn't fly because that angled armor is literally nothing. It should have just gone clean through and destroyed him. And then, of course, the 50 cal did nothing. But when I drive the EBR, rawr, 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 rawr. okay, that's all my complaining for today. Okay, EBR's taken off, but he's going to be around there somewhere. Question is where? And is he sneaking up on my buddy there? Ha ha! Somebody got that EBR. Yes!
Keep coming. Oh! I'll take it, but I can't do anything about that Churchill. Keep going, keep going, keep going. Man, I'm running default ammo. I think I still get the same penetration just with half the rounds. So, we'll at least see if we can decap. Maybe that church will be far enough away. Okay, good, good, good. What a, oh, it's putting me in the commander spot. No wonder I'm offset. That's probably the Churchill. Just get the cap in. Oh, it wasn't the Churchill. <laughs> Hello, Mr. Ostwind. Hope I caught you off guard. Now let's bail out of here before that Churchill figures out where I'm at. Okay, he's back on it. He found himself a Panzer three. Where'd that Churchill go? Oh, maybe that's a Churchill. Yeah, that's a Churchill. I lost a body. Hopefully that'll give that M24 time to regroup. Okay, friendly. I'll take it. Ah. Oh. It's actually harder to do this in this uh, offset arrangement here. Uh, how's my ammunition? 4 out of 34. Okay, there it is. Should be good to go. How am I doing? 3 assists, 2 kills, 2 caps. You know what? That's not bad. I'm, I am pretty pleased with that result for a mostly stock vehicle. In fact, a, yeah, not quite stock, but mostly stock vehicle. Pretty darn happy. All right, 
right, let's see if I can kind of poke my nose around a corner here and see what things look like. See, this is the method I want, I would love to have, the, where it's attached to the turret. But in the, uh, um, on regular tanks, it's not attached to the turret. It throws me off so bad. I wonder if you selected the, uh, ooh, that was interesting. Oh, the M24 got him. Whoop, there's more going on than I thought. What do we got? What do we got? Whoops, that was long. Yes, mission accomplished. Not bad. Not bad at all. Well, I hope you enjoyed this match right here. We did a pretty good job, and I uh, uh, hope we'll see you on the next uh, issue of One Nation, One BR in VR. We'll take a look at the results here and call it a day. Hey, you know what? Three ground targets destroyed, three assists, five crits. You know, not bad. Not bad at all. I just wish I'd killed that first EBR with the M24. That would have felt really good. But, you know, overall, we won. Awesome. I think we're in good shape. And if you want to watch my previous issue of uh, One Nation, One BR and VR, I'm going to put it right up over here, over here, over my right shoulder. You have a great rest of your day, and we'll see you in War Thunder, maybe even in VR.